The car I'm driving now is Ion LX, an electric SUV made by Chongqi New Energy, an electric car manufacturer of Chongqi Group in China. Although Chongqi Group's car manufacturing history is only 20 years old, they have been working with Honda and Toyota to build cars in China, and Chongqi is growing really fast. The car has 93 kilowatt of battery, similar to Tesla Model X. The car has two models, front and rear, which can generate a total of 408 horsepower and 700 newton meter of torque. In addition, if you buy the $20,000 Ultra Acceleration Pack, it just takes 3.9 seconds to reach 100 km per hour. This car has Goodyear tire, but it's still slippery because of the massive acceleration. Driving mode has Eco, Normal, and Sport mode. But this car doesn't have a mode change physical button. It must be changed through the dashboard touch button, which is very inconvenient. Even though it's an electric car, if you don't step on the accelerator pedal, it just goes straight ahead like a regular gasoline car, which means there's no regenerative braking system. There is iPedal mode, which controls acceleration and braking with one pedal. As I remember, this is a mode developed by a Japanese car company, but it's going to take some time to get used to it. Although it only takes 3.9 seconds to reach 100 km, the suspension is a bit soft. This car is really light. This car is 4.9 meters long, and it has 2.9 meters of wheelbase, but it's only 1.9 tons. NEDC of the long range version of this car is 650 km. Of course, this is only possible when driving at low speed. Ion LX is the first Chinese car which has level 3 self-driving system. The car is equipped with 17 high precision radars, infrared cameras, and mobile eye Q4, which enables level 3 self-driving. I really like the driving. The electric car is usually quiet, but this car is quieter because it uses bubble glasses. Now let's take a closer look at the car. First of all, the design applied Trump's new energy family look, which has been going on since 2018. All trim levels has four LED headlights, but it's kind of similar to Cadillac headlights. There is another LED on the grille that connects the left and right headlights, which usually illuminates when you lock the car or open the car. I've never seen a car with such a natural sensor. Most Chinese cars are attached unnaturally. It's a 20-inch wheel designed for aerodynamics for the electric vehicle. This car is with fastback design, but it looks too small for its actual size. The length of the car is almost the same as Hyundai Santa Fe, but the car doesn't look long because this long wheelbase. The air resistance coefficient of this car is only 1.28. There's also this decoration in the deep pillar part. The car looks really sporty thanks to these elements. But the character line doesn't look very clear compared to the sporty exterior. You can also select solar charging option for the roof. The rear is also a family look of Chongqi. It's already been two years and they haven't changed the design yet. The tail lamp don't just turn on, but it illuminates like Audi. The left and right side of tail lamps are integrated, and all trim levels are full LEDs. The rear bumper is almost the same as the front bumper. I think Chinese cars really emphasize fashion. Almost every SUV has a diffuser like this, but it's all fake diffusers. The rear spoiler is not just a straight line, but a slightly raised profile on both sides. I think it's also for appearance rather than performance. This car doesn't have a physical button to open the tailgate. If you hold the key and stand in front of the tailgate for 3 seconds, it will open automatically. The trunk space seems to be very small for a medium-sized SUV, although there is a small storage space on the left and right sides. The left and right wheel seems to take up a lot of trunk space. Although I can bend the second row of seat like that, but it's still not enough.
Let's have a look at the engine room. Although there's no engine room, but I don't know what's inside look like because of that plastic cover. This car has a window and roof location memory function. So when you start the car, it goes back to the setting before it shuts down. Just like this. It seems to be very sporty overall, with its fastback design and very long wheelbase. It doesn't look like a medium-sized SUV at all. Now let's look at the interior. This car used a lot of the Alcantara material, even for door trims. Some parts of the seats were also made of Alcantara. And with this orange stitch, even the seats look sporty. There's even this feature on the back seat. The interior is also a family look of Trumpchi New Energy. The steering wheel design is fine, but these plastic buttons feel a little like toys. The door trim buttons are pretty good. The center fascia button is similar to the Mercedes. Most of the interior are soft material. Digital instrument cluster and dashboard screens are attached to each other. But the dashboard's response speed is pretty slow. The screen's transition is not smooth at all. The 4G data is provided unlimited for level. One bad thing is that the driving mode button must be operated through this screen. This part looks very nice because it's a floating type. There's storage space and USB port below. The gear level is very unique. When the engine starts, it pops up to the top, and when it turns off, it goes inside. The console box has really big space. It's a really big among Chinese SUV. Most Chinese cars have poor overhead console designs, but this car is really nice. But there is a little noise. This A pillar is really thin. It will be really helpful when you are driving. The speaker is Alpine speaker. Rear seat space is considerably long thanks to a long wheelbase. The seats look pretty awesome. The back seat is also made of Alcantara material. This kind of decoration makes the seats look better. It's a pity that there are only two USB ports and no other charging ports. And it doesn't even have a second row air conditioner control button with this price. The armrest cup holder looks great. Ion LX is a very versatile car. It has 93 kilowatt battery with level 3 self-driving system and a 3.9 second of acceleration. Besides, thanks to its very long wheelbase, the car looks very sporty. Both interior design and materials seems to have been perfect enough to give a high score. But the trunk space is too small, and there is no regenerative braking setting even this is an electric vehicle. It would be much better if Trumpchi can improve these points. So this is all about the test drive of ION LX.